Welcome back to iCafe Studios. I'm Holly Dorniak. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to add a picture into Active Inspire. Pictures are worth a thousand words. As any good teacher will tell you, the more visuals you have, the better you're able to connect with your students. In this example, you've got um, the state of Texas here, and you can really, it's a great resolution picture. You can um, see all of the major cities and uh, even some of the uh, major li rivers and lakes and whatnot. Um, so that's really great to be able to use that so that students can annotate right on top of it. Here's another example um, of adding some interactivity using images. And um, what we have here are um, two pictures of some mammals. And um, the students are then asked to take a look at the um, pictures and describe um, what these mammals have in common. Um, so if we wanted to add a new picture, or let's say I wanted to um, take out this line, he might be a little too scary. And I'm going to insert um, a new picture. So I'm going to go up here to the insert button and I'm going to choose media and that's going to take me uh, into my uh, computer dialog. I'm going to make sure that I'm in on my desktop because I've got a picture of a whale saved there. I'm going to select that picture and then choose open. It's going to come in kind of big just depending on the resolution of your picture but it's easy to resize. Um, so I'm going to select the picture with my um, select tool which looks like um, an arrow over here and I'm used to using the bottom right marquee hand um, that way my aspect ratio um, stays the way that I want it to. Otherwise, you can resize an image, but you can see using the other marquee handles, that's going to stretch your or warp your uh, image a little bit. So if I use that bottom right hand marquee handle to resize my image, I'm able to um, adjust the width and the height at the same time, which is really nice. So I'm going to line that up just to make it uh, the same width as my elephant, and I'm going to put it in there, and then I'm just going to adjust my background a little bit by clicking on my background in, uh, shape there and just resizing it, and I'm ready to go. Once I um, have my image in, I might want to lock it down. To lock down an image or shape or text, you just right click, and then I'm going to choose locked out of um, the options there. If you hover with your pen, and then click on the button that's found on every Promethean pin. That's the same thing as a right click. And then you can just scroll up um, and choose locked. And that way when you are in presentation mode, now that image is locked down and it's unable to move. Even though I'm clicking and trying to select it, I'm unable to um, move it, which is really handy while you're in a presentation. As always, we have lots and lots of tutorials. This um, cheat sheet is on iCafe, so make sure you check it out. I'm Holly Dorniak in the iCafe Studios. Thank you, and have a great day.